Psalms 56 from verse number 8. Bang, bada, boom, bang, 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 bang. Are you there? Yes. yes. Now listen to what the word of God says. Thou tellest my wanderings. Put thou my tears into thy bottle. Are they not in thy book? Listen to me. Tears are mystery. Because tears is an expression of what cannot be uttered in words. Every human being from the time they are born, the native language of a man is tears. Let me find somebody that I can teach. Come on, prophet. From the time you are born, you express yourself only through tears. Because tears are the native language of a man's heart. But tears are also an expression not only of the soul, but it's also an expression of the spirit. Because when a man gets into a realm where they need to express themselves, but they have no ability to express themselves in words, the response of the man is tears. The response of the woman is tears. So tears are calling from the depth either of your heart or of your spirit. Now anyone who has problems crying. You know they are broken. Mm. Oh. Many times the enemy attacks people. And he makes you so hard. That the language of tears is taken from you. Come on. Yet there is an expression that a man and a woman and a child can only offer to God in tears because that is a language that only God can understand. Please, prophet. Ah, I wish you could hear me. There are tears when you cry. Heaven comes and takes those tears. God does not waste them because the tears are an in-depth expression. That only God can comprehend. Wow. Satan knowing this. Satan knowing this. He caused other versions of expression of tears that are not beneficial. But many have taken it to be a benefit. But in reality it is not beneficial. God answers the tears of a righteous man. God answers the tears of a righteous woman. Yes. But God does not answer every tear. That's it. That's it. There are tears that we may cry but are a waste of tears. And they are a waste of the expression of the soul. Mm. Because in your crying you did not benefit anything. But if the groaning is of the spirit then God collects. Come on. I wish I could speak to somebody. When a baby is born and a baby is hungry, everything that the baby expresses comes from the depth of their spirit. Because their soul is still developing, the soul cannot communicate. Because the soul communicates based on information. But the spirit already knows. Mm. So when the baby is born and the baby wants milk, the baby looks at you and wails. Wow, with drama because tears grab the attention. Come on. Come on. Come on. Come on. Tears, are, tears have the ability to stop God in his tracks. Ah. Tears have the ability to stop God in his tracks. Ah. I feel like I'm talking to myself. More. I feel like I'm talking to myself. Are you sure you're here? Yes. Isaiah chapter 38 and verse 5. Mm, I'm trying to do this as sweet and quickly as I can. There was a man called Hezekiah. That God had decided, Hezekiah, you have to die. 
and your death is to preserve my nation from your son called Manasseh who will be the worst king that this nation will ever experience. So God wanted to take his precious servant out of this world to avoid calamity that was going to follow. So when prophet Isaiah came to him and told him, Ezekiah, get your house in order because you're going to die. God is letting you know that you're going to die. So get your affairs in order because you're going home. Ezekiah turned to his wall and said, Lord, everything that I have done, who is going to do it? And the Bible says, and Ezekiah cried. His tears were not because he was going to die. His tears was, Lord, who will do what you have given me to do? Come, Come on. on. Who will finish what? Yes. Come on. Tears are uh, sit for two seconds. Tears are supposed to be navigated spiritually. Because if they are properly navigated, God is compelled by tears. There are prayers you pray. God will say you're not really praying yet because you have not moved my spirit. When you see somebody crying, even if you don't want to listen, the cry will grab your attention. You begin to interpret what is wrong, what happened. How much more for God? So Ezekiah cried in prayer. Because he was burdened with the work of God. Ah, what are you burdened by today? Some of you are burdened by physical things, but you're not burdened by eternal purposes. So when you cry, you cry because your enemies were talking about you. But that is not a reason for God to answer you. God will answer you if your tears are connected to his purpose. Come on. Because that means that that purpose matters so much to you that you can feel God's heart, you can feel yes. God's pain, you can see God's... Yes, I feel like I'm talking to myself. Uh, sit for two seconds. The Lord said to the prophet, go and say to Ezekiah, that says the Lord, that God, thy father, the God of thy father David, I have heard thy prayer and I have seen your tears. When you pray, God is looking. Do you have a message that is beyond your words? Praying in the spirit is not just rama soka paratia kapa. Even though that is a prayer of the spirit, but tongues can also be expressed by the soul. But tears are always pure in their purity if you're in prayer. The Bible says, for the spirit helps us to pray with groanings that words cannot utter. Many times the expression of the Holy Spirit in prayer, helping you to get God's attention, is when you're in the middle of your prayer saying, Father, who is like unto you? You begin to cry with groanings. Yes. That moves God, stops God. Yes. Lord. I touch your neighbor, say, neighbor, may your tears never be wasted. Neighbor, may your tears never be wasted. I shake another neighbor, say, neighbor, may your tears never be wasted. Neighbor, may your tears never be wasted. Now notice this. I have heard thy prayer. I have seen thy tears. Behold, I will add unto thy days 15 years. Notice God changed his mind. Because there were tears. Oh, 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 oh. The quickest way to get God to answer you, learn to pray in tears. Amen. Amen. So I'm trying to talk to somebody. Hallelujah. So I'm trying to give you revelation that will bring a revolution. Yes. Into your life and to, into everything that. Come on. When your heart broken, you cry. When something good happens, you cry. When somebody dies, you cry. When somebody surprises you, you cry. 
when you are engaged oh my god you cry notice the highest level of expression of either joy or pain or burdens is always in the language of tears yes Lord. As a child of God, you need to understand why is it that God just made water to come out of our eyes? The angel of the Lord appeared to me while I was preparing to come. And he said, the tears of the righteous. The Lord wants you to tell them, the tears of the righteous are like rain on a good ground. A Come seed on. may be planted, but Come if there is no... Come on! So good. Some people didn't get... Let me talk to the overflow. Let me find somebody on YouTube. Let me find somebody I can talk to. The tears of the righteous are like rain. We have different kinds of tears. Sit for two seconds. We have different kinds of tears. Touch your neighbor say we have different kinds of tears. We have, we have different, different kinds, kinds of tears. tears. We have dimensions of tears. We have, we have dimensions, dimensions of tears. tears. There are tears of the flesh. Mm. There are tears of the flesh. When you're carnally minded and you like getting offended, there will be tears. But those tears don't profit you anything. Because they are tears of complaint. If you know the Holy Spirit, he doesn't like complainers. Because if God is a solution giver, you don't complain, you request. Amen. 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 Let me talk to this side. The church is on this side. I don't know if somebody can hear me. C capture this by the Spirit. You see, they are still sitting. That is why. No. Somebody's prayer is getting answered now. Yeah, yes. hallelujah. Somebody is receiving right now. I yes. receive. I receive. Somebody is being taken to another dimension right now. I receive. Ah, two seconds, I beg you. Rabba Shantala Bahaya. Elia Masuka Paria Mate. Vlokoste Ebra Makadiga Asoto. Rebe be 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 kubara masata. Libya supara manderika asota. Rebeke sikata baya. Hear me by the Spirit. Oh Holy Spirit, I feel your presence. Come on. I feel there is a release in the atmosphere. Yes. I will see. Sit, sit for two seconds. I beg you. Sit for two seconds. Tears of the flesh don't profit anyone anything. Because the flesh does not profit a man anything. Anyone who sows to the flesh reaps in what? In the flesh. Meaning that it cannot give you eternal, eternal purposes. It cannot bring you into alignment with God. The children of Israel were crying in Egypt... For 400 years, they wept. They cried and cried and cried and being beaten. God never answered. But when a man who was truly burdened for a nation that he discovered is his nation, had questions and saying, if God is really their God, why is this God forsaken them? God brought him close and he told him, Moses, I have seen the suffering of my people. I know their pain by reason of their taskmasters. I have seen their tears. What God was seeing was not the ones that are in Israel. God was seeing Israel through Moses. This is why every time God wanted to deal with Israel, he never dealt with them. He dealt with his servant, Moses. Come on. Because the pain of Moses brought the cry of the people unto God. Yes. Because he was. Come on. Oh, teaching, prophet. Uh, sit for two seconds. Sit for two seconds. 
God saw their tears and everything. The last time God spoke to anyone in their nation while they were in Egypt was Joseph. Joseph who also cried for the nation. After Joseph left, they became comfortable. They forgot their eternal purpose. They stopped crying to God. That is why the Bible says God will answer his people who cry to him day and night. Notice the crying is not just the physical praying. Because the dimension of tears, not everyone touches that realm. Wow. Come on. Wow. That is why it says God will answer his people that cry. Notice there is a cry involved. And if there is a cry, there is tears. Yes. Those who are in the flesh confuse tears of the spirit or the cry of the spirit or groaning with the, of the spirit. They mistake it to their pain. They rejected me. Oh God, look at how they have rejected me. God is saying, you're still not crying. You are sowing to the flesh. Because once they accept you, your tears are for them. Your tears is not for me. Oh Amen. boy. So God cannot respond on account of people. God will respond on eternal. Amen. Amen. So God will watch and say, uh-uh. This is physical cry. Mm, sit for two seconds. Her guy is in the wilderness. She cried to God because her child was dying. Heaven never heard her. But the moment the child just did uh, The angel of the Lord said, Hey guy, what are you doing here? I heard the voice of the boy. Yet the boy was a child. He could not speak. He could only cry. Yes. When you are a child of God, you cry unto your father. Yes. Come on. The language of a child is in tears. Yes. It is not in reasoning. Many of you are trying to reason with God. When Andrew was still a child, he never came to me at any time and cried and said, Father, do we have any money? Because we need some milk. Because I know you can provide milk. So can you work out something? I don't have a job right now, but you are trying to tell God how you should, he should bless you. He should increase you. But the last time I checked, when a man is born, a man is pure. Amen. The baby doesn't care whether you have a job, whether you... The baby will just start, wah! Amen. And you are compelled to get milk and to feed that Come child. Boy. When that child has peed on themselves, they will cry, wah! Meaning, change my diaper. Yes. Because they understand it is your duty by the Spirit to care for them. God did not call you to reason with him. God said, ask and you shall receive. Yes. Yes. Ah, Jesus said, until now you have not asked for anything. Ask that your joy may be full. Yes. Some of you are still saying, God, if it is your time. The baby doesn't care if it is 2 a.m., 3 a.m., 5 a.m., 6. When they are hungry, they are hungry. When they are tired, they will make you rock them to sleep. Or else they will not give you peace until you teach him, prophet. Uh, you didn't hear me. A baby will not give you any kind of peace. I remember when JT had his baby. And he said, Papa Lo, man, we ain't sleeping. I remember when Will just got his son. His son. I remember even Mabi was a baby said, Papa Lo, man, I need to give your daughter a break. We, we ain't sleeping. Because a baby doesn't care. A baby is not worried about your sleep. The baby wants what the baby wants. Amen. And if you are a child of God, you know what you want is what your father... Amen. Amen. Woo! I, I wish somebody would stand up and begin to say, Father, you know my needs. Father, Father you, you know, know my needs. needs. Uh, sit for two seconds. Let me just 
Let me just go somewhere. I'm trying my best. I'm trying my best, Apostle. Hear me by the Spirit. Hear me, please. I am begging you. Hear me by the Spirit. The Bible says, if Jesus said this, if you human beings, if your child asks for bread, you don't give them a rock. If they ask for fish, you don't give them a snake. You humans being evil can be good. How much more for your father? Do you realize the Bible says that God knows your needs? A baby doesn't need to tell you whether their diaper is messed up. They don't need the right language. They just need a cry. And you as a parent, you already know their patterns. You know they need their diaper changed. It is time for milk. It is time for sleep. Notice that time is not determined by the parent. It is determined by the baby. Yes. And then the parent begins to take care of the baby. And he starts to put baby in a routine. Where he makes the baby to lay down. In order for the child to have a schedule. Starts to feed the baby at a certain pattern. As the baby develops, the baby starts dancing to the rhythm of the father and the mother. Come on. The baby starts to understand, okay, this is how my life goes because he takes care of me. I'm here to tell you something that God is taking care of you. Yes. He said, do not worry about what you're going to eat. He said, don't worry about what you're going to wear. Yes. Your father knows. Yes. Your father what? Knows. knows that you need it. You don't need to tell him with long words. In fact, God doesn't like much speaking. He hates it. Jesus says, don't be like the heathen. Who think by their much speaking they will be heard? Many of you are busy. Repaka, zakata, okaparata, zekedebede, eyakakakaka, fire, fire. Yet God is waiting for the prayer. The prayer hasn't come. The moment you begin to see him for who he is, you begin to understand what Jesus has accomplished. Your prayer ends in tears. Amen. The moment it enters the realm of tears, the angels begin to move. Yes. In Genesis chapter 6. In Genesis chapter 6. When God sent the flood. He was angry with human beings. Very upset with them. Because men became wicked. But do you know what the Bible says? The cries of men got to God. They were evil. Their imagination was evil. But their cry, saying, Lord, we messed up. These giants are finishing us, is what made God respond, not their words. The tears of the flesh don't profit anyone anything. This is why you should stop crying for things that cannot give life. Come on. Uh, I'll say that one more time for those who are in the black back. Jesus went, I did a message called the 13th Apostle. You can find it. I did it a few years ago. Jesus came to a man and said, follow me. The man said, my father just died. I need to go and bury him. And Jesus said, let the dead bury the dead. Do you know what Jesus meant by that? He said, I am calling you out of dead people. I am not saying you shouldn't cry for your father. But let those who have no hope of glory cry. You have been called unto eternal life. What I will give you will rescue your father. But if you go to your father, you will be like those who cry without hope. Woo! The man rejected the call because he was caught up with the past. Many of you cannot enter into the promise of God because you love the tears of the past. You wake up in the middle of the night and you say, I used to have a house, I used to have a husband, I used to have a wife, I used to have children. I used to have this, I used to have that, I used to have this. You are sowing to what will only produce death. Listen, when rain falls, 
where a seed was not planted, weeds begin to grow. Amen. So your tears can fuel weeds that will overtake a ground that will... I'm talking to... Hey, teacher. I don't know if somebody can hear me. Yes. David was crying unto God concerning his son. God already told him, I'm sorry, I, I'm taking him. He refused to eat. Just fasted and prayed and he cried. When the boy died, David rose up. He says, where is pepper soup? Where is my fufu? His servants got angry with him and said, Lord, when the baby was alive, you should have been eating. Now the baby is dead is when you want to eat. David said, you guys don't understand. Where my child is gone, I can't go right now. Some of you are crying for the past and you will end up dying because your tears will take you in the wrong direction. Amen. But David knew he still had work to do. There was still Solomon that had to come. Yes. So David said, listen, my child is gone to God. One day I will go, but it is not time yet. Some of you are expediting your time to heaven before time. I say, may the tears of the flesh fall in the name of Jesus. Amen. I said, may the tears of the flesh fall in the name of Jesus. Amen. Now hear me because I have a few minutes. There is the tears. Ah, the tears of the soul. Now the tears of the soul are tricky. Because God always wants your soul to express itself as unto a friend. So God has no problem with you crying from your soul. What God doesn't want is the tears of the flesh. But when you enter the soul, the soul is part or operates in the spiritual world. This is why the Bible says, love God with all your heart, with all your strength, with all your mind. With all. Notice your soul is included in the loving God, yet God is seeking those who will worship him in spirit and in truth. It means that your soul has the capacity to operate also in the spirit. This is why the soul being immaterial, the soul can feel things. The soul can experience things. And the soul enhances reality. If you have no soul, you cannot experience reality in its full. That is why when you go to heaven, your soul and your spirit enter heaven. And one day the body will be rejoined. But if you go to hell, your spirit does not go into hell. The spirit returns to God, but the soul will be gnashing teeth in hell. Notice your soul has teeth. Uh, I, 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 I don't know if you can understand me. So when Paul is saying you have been eating, drinking milk, it's time for meat. He's saying develop your soul to be able to bite on heavier things that challenge you. Not just things that are easy. Because if you don't toughen your teeth in the land of the living, you may end up in hell. Where you will be grinding the teeth that should have been eating meat. Come on. I, I feel like I'm speaking to spiritual babies. I thought Revelation Church had the mature in the spirit. I'm talking to Revelation Nation that are online also. Yeah. Amen. Oh, Jesus. So the, the cry of the soul, the tears of the soul. The tears of the soul can be tricky because you never know what is going to poke at your soul. Sometimes you can be offended by people who are not trying to offend you. But if you're not seasoned to govern your own soul, you may misdirect what should be a cry from the heart. This is why sometimes somebody will see you loving God and because their soul felt a certain way because of their own trauma, their lack of education of spiritual things, they will say, it didn't sit right with me, so you are a devil worshiper. So instead of them joining to the grace that is supposed to lift them, 
prophets. They begin to speak against the grace that is supposed to rescue them. Teach a prophet. Teach uh, I feel like I'm talking to myself. This is why Job said this. Go to Job 16 verse 20. Mm. Job 16 verse 20. Listen to what Job said. He said, my friends scorn me. But my eye poured tears unto God. His friends were telling him, you've sinned against God. This is why you're suffering. His wife looks at him and says, curse God and die. But Job, knowing that his body is suffering, knowing everything that is going on with him, Job looked to heaven and said, naked I came from my mother's womb. Naked I will go back. Blessed be the name of the Lord. He managed his soul to give God the greatest worship. The greatest worship song that can ever be sung to God. Because of the pain that he was going through. Spiritual maturity is measured when your soul is bruised. Whom do you cry to and how do you cry? Those who offend you are giving you an opportunity to sing a new song unto the Lord. To write a new love song unto God. To make you understand it is only God that you have. You don't have anyone else in this world. Your mother and father can fail you. Your brothers can fail you. Your husband, your wife can fail you. But Jesus can never, ever, 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 ever. Hallelujah. He will not forsake you. Amen. But if you are not aware, oh Lord, how to manage your soul, your tears will be of despair. When your soul has matured, your soul cries in hope. Jesus wept when Lazarus died, not because of Lazarus, because Jesus is the giver of life and is the one who also takes life because he is God Almighty. His tears, which is the shortest verse in the Bible, he cried because of the unbelief of those who he went to, those who knew that he is the Messiah failed to recognize that his presence is the place where tears are wiped. So when Jesus came unto them, they ran to him correctly. And they looked at him and they said, Lord, if you were here, he would have never died. They did not understand that Jesus being God is the orchestrator of all things. This is why the Bible tells you all things work for good for those who loved it, love him and those who are called according to his purpose. This family was part and parcel of the purpose of Jesus. This is why they were the first ones to know that Jesus is the Messiah. So when they sent a message to him, Jesus did not answer. They sent another message. They did not say, how come Jesus is not answering? They forgot that Jesus was God. They treated him like a man. That God is the only, is only able to rescue what is still alive, but at the point of death. They don't know that God being God is able to enter the spiritual li- world and take life and give it back. They failed to understand the multi-dimensions of the manifestations of God. They did not understand what my grandfather would say, the idiosynchronic nature and vision of God. They never grasped it. They never understood it. They could have never, they could never get a hold of it. When the apostles saw Jesus die and resurrect, they said, we beheld the glory of the only begotten Gotten one of the father. Why did they say we beheld his glory? Of course they were with him. But why did they say we beheld his glory? They said we saw the nature that is beyond man. That can enter into the grave. That can be in the grave for three days and three nights. Pierced on the side without any blood. 
but he can walk out of the grave without the rock being moved and fold clothes and leave them in the grave and walk outside, appear to them in their house and say, where is the fish so that we can eat? Listen to me. There is a realm that God desires to reveal to you. But that realm can be revealed when you feel pain in your soul. When situations are impossible, your tears direct you into faith. Because it teaches you to see God beyond the physical. You begin to understand to die is gain, to live is Christ. Amen. When you enter into this realm, the devil can no longer cause you tears. Because he knows if he makes you cry, you draw closer to God. This is why the Bible says resist the devil and he will flee from you. I feel like I'm talking to myself. So when your soul is bruised, it is an opportunity to pray differently before God. It means God is calling you higher. Somebody say, God is calling me higher. God is calling me higher. Shake your neighbor, say, the Lord is calling me higher. The Lord, the Lord is, is calling, calling me higher. Oh, shake somebody next to you, say, the Lord is calling you higher. The Lord, the Lord is, is calling, calling you higher. Find somebody on your side, say, the Lord is calling you higher. The Lord is calling you higher. Hallelujah. Amen. Hallelujah. When everyone leaves you, your tears no longer say, Father, bring them back in my life. Your tears is, Lord, I understand you are all that I have. Amen. Everyone Amen. can walk away from me, but you will never walk away from me. Amen. You chose to love me unconditionally. When I am good and I am bad, you still love me because I am yours. Yeah. Others reject me because I was never theirs. Forgive me for giving them your place. Today I return to you, Lord Jesus. Amen. Amen. You are all that I have. It points you into a higher dimension of true intimacy and true love with God. This is why there has been pain in your life. This is why God has allowed pain in your life. Because the moment your soul can be redirected in tears, then your soul is able to connect with your spirit man who is connected to God. When God walked into Sarah's house, she was busy in the kitchen. And Abraham was speaking with God. And Abraham said, Lord, please dine with us. Let me wash the dust off your feet. God had already spoken to Abraham because God had the prayer of Abraham. The tears and the yearning to have a son. And his tears were like, God, who shall I leave all this for? God told him, I am not giving you a child, so that you leave him your belongings that will perish. I want to give you a son that will give you a nation that will never perish. So God redirected the purposes of Abraham to understand your child is unto eternity. I want you to be called the father of nations, not just the father who has a child. That is so common. Some of you are crying for common things, yet you have been called to cry for uncommon. Boy. The Bible says, ask me for the nations. Some of you are just asking for one thing, two things. <laughs> yet God wants to give you something that will become a monument. It will become a sign and a wonder. That even heaven will be applauding saying, wow. Yes. Look at what the child of God produced. Amen. If you can hear me shout fire. Fire. Now hear me by the spirit. Sit for two seconds, I beg you. I have three minutes. 
Hear me by the spirit. Hear me by the spirit if you can. Our father Abraham was already aligned. So the Lord walks into his house and says, by this time next year, I will visit Sarah. I am already done with you. I have loaded you with seed. But now I will visit Sarah to prepare the ground for you. But when the Lord went to Sarah, Sarah had accepted being barren. She no longer had tears that said, Lord, you have better for me. There was no cry that said, Lord, you did not create me for barrenness. You did not create me for dryness. You did not create me for, for just to exist. Yes. You did not call me from my father and mother's house to just come and sit here and do nothing for you. There is something better, Lord. There is something better. So, and the Lord said, I will bless you. Instead of tears of joy, Sarah laughed. Instead of receiving what God gave, she offered her maid unto Abraham. When her maid had a child called Ishmael, and they started taunting her, then she said, ah, what about me, Lord? My husband was also barren, but now he can produce. What did I miss, Lord? She began to cry and began to see that it was possible for her. God is blessing your neighbor to provoke you to understand there is better for you. Come on. Yeah. See? Come on. A more prophet. Somebody touch your neighbor, say, Lord, it is my turn. Lord, Lord it is, is my, my turn. turn. If God is touching your neighbor, it means God is in your neighborhood. Yeah. It means he has come near. He's showing you that he's around. Hallelujah. Yeah. He's showing you that he's about to stretch his hand yeah. and touch dry bones and cause them to come. Yeah. yeah. Let me go to the tears of the spirit. I have 30 seconds. Somebody say 30 seconds. 30 seconds. Psalms 126 from verse 5 to 6. Psalms 126 from verse 5 to 6. Now listen to this. They that sow in tears shall reap in joy. Stop right there. Jesus when I look at my life I understand that my tears were not for nothing yes. when I spent hours in the presence of God seeing how everyone looked down on me but saying how could he forsake such an amazing career where God was lifting him I was on my knees saying Lord I trust what you have given me Lord, I am here. Do with me what you please. Yes. I worshipped him. I cried unto him. Lord, as you have spoken, let it be done unto me. Many of you give your seeds. Do you notice what I say? I say, if you are going to give without prayer, please keep your money. Go and buy McDonald's. Go and buy clothes. Don't give it because you'll be wasting your money. Ah, you'll be wasting your money. Hannah was complaining all the days of her life. The Lord had shut her womb. Some of you, you are not producing, not because of the devil, but God himself has shut your womb. Because God is looking for a spiritual commitment from you. Sarah went to deliverance ministries. Nothing came out of it. Sarah complained to her husband. Her husband said, I did not marry you for children. But deep inside of her, 
there was something being stirred up. Spiritually, she picked up that God had rejected Eli and had rejected his children. So she went to the temple and she was on her knees like a drunk person. She had groanings that looked crazy. Some of you want cute prayers, but I'm here to tell you cute prayers don't do anything. Amen. When you cry unto God, sometimes you have to be crazy like a baby. That if you tell them to wait, they will throw themselves on the floor and roll on the ground like somebody died. Yet all they want is that toy that they saw. When you take them to the store, they start causing a scene. Hannah began to cause a scene at the church. Praying with groanings that looked crazy. That the high priest came to her and said, Hannah, how dare you come to church drunk? Even though she did not smell like alcohol. What Eli did not pick up, it was the same cry that the apostles had in the book of Acts. When the Holy Spirit came upon them, they began to manifest drunkenness of the spirit. They began to make... Oh. They began to declare the wonderful things that God has done. They entered into the realm of tongues. Hannah began to pray. Oh Lord. The priest came and said, Woman, how dare you come to church drunk? Then she looked at him and said, Sir, I am not drunk. I am crying by reason of my body. When he heard that Eli understood the woman has hit a dimension yes. in the spirit. Yes. Eli stopped and said, woman, I am sorry. Your prayer has been answered. Go home. I'm here to declare to somebody that has been crying. Yes. I'm here to speak to somebody that has been crying. For your children, for your family, for your business, for your health. Oh, I wish I had somebody that will lift up their hands. Hey. Somebody that I can speak to to receive this prophetic word. Somebody that will receive this prophetic decree. See. Oh, Jesus. Oh, Jesus. Oh Jesus. Oh Jesus. Oh Jesus. Somebody begin to cry unto Jesus. Begin to cry unto Jesus. Let your tears fall unto Jesus. Begin to cry unto the Lord Jesus. Oh Lord, oh Lord Jesus, oh Lord Jesus. Listen to me, listen to me. Those that sow in tears, those that sow in tears shall reap in joy. Listen to me. The Bible says this. The Bible says it like this. Sowing must be accompanied by tears. The Bible says, for God so loved the world that he gave his son. When his son was sacrificed, put on the cross. The Bible says the earth became darkness and there was an earthquake and rain began to fall. The father was bruised because his giving caused him tears. Look at verse 6. Oh Lord Jesus. He that goeth forth and weepeth, bearing precious seed. Ah. 
When you have tears, your seed is not just a seed. It becomes precious seeds. Shall what? Doubtless. Come again with what? Rejoicing. Bringing is what? Sheaves. Oh, I want us to read from verse 5 to 6. Are you ready? Yes. One, two, three. They that sow in tears shall reap in joy. He that goeth forth and weepeth, bearing precious seed, shall doubtless come again with rejoicing, bringing his sheaves with him. If you want to remove doubt in your prayer life, tears. You don't see answers to prayer because you lack tears. Amen, amen. Amen. Maybe I, I feel like that passed you. This is why when you pray, don't go to church and say, worship was terrible. You just missed your opportunity. What does your worship have to do with the worship team? Thank God Revelation Worship is the best worship band in the universe. Amen. Amen. But we are not here to hypnotize you. We are here to facilitate your tears unto God. Where is your groaning? Where is your groaning? Yes. That is connected to the eternal purposes of God. This is the cry that God is seeking. That when you enter into this dimension, one minute is a lot for God not to answer. God will answer you in a twinkle of an... Amen. If your shout can be louder, yeah. Yeah. if your worship can be louder, yeah. Yeah. Hallelujah. Hallelujah. I Hallelujah. want you to lift your hands. And I want you to start crying to God concerning what you have been going through. And align it with the eternal purposes of God. Say, Father, in the name of Jesus. Father, Father in, the in the name, name of, of Jesus. Jesus. I open my heart. I open my heart. And I pour out my spirit. And I pour out my spirit. I pour out my desires. I pour out my desires. That are aligned to your purposes. That are aligned to your purposes. With tears before you. With tears before you. Oh, Lord, hear the cry of my heart. Oh, Lord, hear the cry of my heart. I saw in tears today. I saw in tears today. Concern Concerning my children, concerning my children, concerning my family, concerning my family. Lord, you do not you do not ignore the tears of the righteous. Lord, you do not ignore the tears of the righteous. I cry unto you today. I cry unto you today. By my tears, we write my story. Let my tears rewrite. Lift my story. your voice and begin to cry unto God. <laughs> 